Ma'am, I have read about frequency distribution, like discrete data and group data. Frequency so distribution? I have learned that. You did statistics? Yes, ma'am. But why are you doing that? Do you have statistics? You, you may not be having statistics. No, no ma'am. It, uh, it is in data handling only. Where is that frequency distribution in, in this chapter? Where do you have frequency distribution in this chapter? In Adi Sharma book, I have practiced that. Please, this is not in your course. Do, don't get confused with doing different things. Okay? Is that there in your course? It's not there. If you're following the NCRT, it's not there in your course. Okay? See here, I've shown you this is your data handling chapter. Everyone, please see. I did. If, if you have something different than that, then tell me. This is what I have taken from the NCRT book. If you have anything different, anything more than this, then you tell me. We'll do that. Okay? But in this chapter, you have chance and probability part. And then you have a circle chart. Ma'am, as we have the uh, range, ma'am, like uh, we need to remove the highest and lowest common factors like that. Like same from the last year and before last year syllabus of so data. This is, this is the current chapter which you have taken out from the internet. Okay. This yes, ma'am. Even in my textbook also, like they have given, ma'am, the probability and... Um, What is your first part of the chapter? What is your first exercise based on? Um, one minute. Yes, say it loudly. What is it based on? Uh, pie chart, no? circle graph. Uh, pie chart, no. And what is your second exercise based on? Um, the first one is like spinning wheel. Your book ma is in the same, your chapter is in the same that I'm showing you here on the screen. Yes, ma'am, same. It's same, no? Then, then what? What is the confusion then? Well, I'm saying like, um, same in the last year book, what do they have given like the... Forget about last year's book. Is your chapter same here? Same, ma'am. Same, no? That's Okay. Okay. If you want to do some last year's concept, if they are not clear to you, that means we can take that. Not like that, ma'am. Like, ah. for my exam, my ma'am has already, like, uh, uh, from our uh, course book, like the R.S. Agrawal, ma'am. Like, in that, they have given off about uh, the rage, ma'am. Those questions are coming. Okay. Okay, those questions also. Rage, data. Okay, that is class 7 chapter. Yes, okay. ma'am, but they have given to this, this year also. Okay, so you must refer to that class 7 chapter. Yes, ma'am. Yesterday I solved those call questions. Ah, so you must refer to that. So, yeah. Pranav, you also have the same? You also have the same thing coming up? Pranav Shiva. Ma'am, I have RS, ma'am. RS Akrava. Okay, okay. Yes, Pranav Shiva. Okay, let's carry on with this. So those who have previous things coming, you can please refer ah. to the uh, class 7 books. Okay. For any doubts, you can post it on the doubts group anytime. Right? Even if it is from class 7, even if it is from any other class, you can post them on the group. Okay, doubts group. Right, Bitta? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now see the question. We had done this question number. Second, we had done. We had done the third one. Okay, now we'll see the next one. Okay. 
let's see question number three also we have done let's see the fourth one here the adjoining pie chart gives the mark scored in an examination by a student in hindi english mathematics social science and science okay so these are the subjects and the marks are also given the marks scored in the examination by the students if the total marks obtained by the student is 540 if the total marks okay Mark, total marks obtained by all in all the subjects is 540. Answer the following questions. Okay. In which subject did the student score 105 marks? And you have to find out in which subject the student scored 105 marks. Now the hint given to you is for 540 marks, the central angle is 360. So the total marks are out of 540, is it? So, 540 means it must be a complete angle 360 degrees. You agree to that? Yes. As per the question. Okay. So, what is the, so for 105 marks, what is the central angle? So, now the question is asking for 105 marks, what would be the central angle? Okay. So, that means in which subject the student scored 105 marks that you have to find out. Okay. Okay, so let's see here. So we know that. Uh, should we take another page? Should we take another page to solve the question? Yes. Or we'll do it here only. So that question is also in front of us. Okay, let's do. Okay. You can note down. Okay. In case if I erase to do the other part, you can note down. But first, listen. Okay, now for 540 marks, we know that the central angle is 360, right? So let's write down the first part what we you know. For 540 marks, for 540 marks, the central angle is 360 degrees. Okay, so we can write here for one mark, for one mark, mark. what will be the central angle? For one mark, the central angle will be what? We are using the unitary method. Have you done? Do you remember the unitary method in class 6? Yes, children. For one mark, the central angle will be 360 by 540. Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Which will be equal to, just re you reduce it to simple form. This will be 18 into 2 is 36, 18 into 3 is 50. So that's 2 by 3 of a fraction. 2 by 3 degrees is it. So we are finding the central angle, look, so this will be in degrees. So for 540 marks, we can say the central angle is 360, this complete angle. Okay, so for one mark, the central angle will be 360 by 540. So that's 2 by 3 degrees. Okay, now for 105 marks, what will be the central angle? For 105 mark, marks, the central angle will be multiplied by 5, 105. Central angle is... 2 by 3 into 105. Is it? This yes, is what we do like this? Yes, ma'am. So that yes, means this much degrees, which is equal to. So just reduce it to lower form. We can go with. Ma'am, 15. 3, 5. 9. We can cancel this. We will get 15. Okay. So this will be 70 degrees. Right? So for 105 marks, the central angle is. 70 degrees. So, 70 degrees which subject? That's Hindi. Yes? So, the student got 105 marks in Hindi. Mom? Yes? Mom, uh, I didn't understand. Mom, do you explain again? Okay, I'll explain. What about others? How many didn't understand this? Please raise your hands. Children, please raise your hands. How many did not understand this? Sharanjit, you understood? Yes, ma'am. 
वर्षित श्रेष्ठा गगन्ना अंडरस्टूड मैम वर्षित श्रेष्ठा श्रेष्ठा युदेव यस मैम ओके प्रणव शिवा ओके सो आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग नदी ओके Now see, I have not done anything new here. I have just taken the unitary method, which you have done in your ratio proportion chapter in your class six. Okay, in one unitary method, what do we do? If we are asked to find the cost of, if we are given cost of five we pencils, we move it together. We split uh, it. Cost of five pencils is say rupees thirty. So yes. what do we do with the unitary method? We will find the cost. If we are asked to find the cost of seven pencils. So what we will do? We we are given the cost. We split them. Pencils, we need to find the cost of seven pencils. So we first find the cost of one pencil. Is it? Yes, ma'am. And then we multiply by seven. Is it? So yes, ma'am. So seven pencils will multiply the cost with cost of one with seven. This is what we do in the unitary method. Is it? So same thing I have done here. Yes, and for yes, five and forty marks, central increases. So this we know that it's already given in the question. If the total marks obtained by the student is five forty, total marks obtained by the students is five forty. Like if yes, you add up all the marks in any subject, no, that as you have in your schools, your total marks is always taken out of hundred, is it? And if you take the total marks of your full semester. So English is taken out of hundred, maths out of hundred, science out of hundred. So it's like this for five major subjects, you have total marks out of five hundred. Is it? Is it like this you have? So same way here, the total marks are given as five forty for all the subjects. So the central angle is three hundred sixty degrees. For five hundred forty marks, the central angle is three sixty. So for one mark, the central angle will be. Three sixty by five forty. Okay, so if I when I reduce it to simple form, this becomes two by three. I can reduce this with eighteen. Eighteen two guys thirty six. Eighteen three guys fifty two. So that becomes two by three degrees. Why degrees? Because I'm finding the angle, the central angle. The angle is always in degrees. Okay. Now, so for one hundred five marks, the central angle will be. I will just multiply this. Central angle for one mark multiplied by one hundred five. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So when I multiply, I cancel it, reduce it with the lowest form. I get seventy degrees. So this is it. Children, yes. please note down. So I I'll have to erase this. Okay. Thank you. Please note down this. Then written. What will it mean? Done. What will it mean? Okay. So see the next question. How many? I'm not erasing. Can I? Write? How many more marks are obtained were obtained by the student in mathematics than in Hindi? Now the second question is asking how many more marks were obtained by a student in mathematics than in Hindi? In Hindi, the student is getting one hundred five marks. Okay, so.
So how many more marks is the child getting in mathematics? Because we can see here, the central angle for Hindi is 70 degrees. Central angle for mathematics is 90 degrees. That means he is getting more marks than 70. Is it? This is understood by the figure. This is understood with the figure no? that he is getting more marks in yes, mathematics than Hindi. Because we can see the uh, chart here. It's 90 degrees and this is 70 degrees. But we have to find the number. How many marks is he getting? In Hindi, he is getting 105 marks. So, like that, how many marks is he getting in mathematics? So, what do we do here? We have maths is given as 90 degrees. Hindi is given as 70 degrees. So, difference between the degrees is 20 degrees. So, we have to find what is this 20 degrees. Okay. Now, for this, we can take it other way. We can say if the central angle is 360, okay, like this. Just write down. Now, for the central angle to be 360, for the central angle to be 360, the marks obtained should be 540, is it? The marks of is 540 for the central angle to be 360. The mark should be 540. No? Then only the central angle will be 360. No? Okay. So this for central angle to be 1 degree. For 1 degree central angle. 1 degree central angle. Marks of pain will be what? Again, unitary method. For central angle of 1 degree, the marks of pain will be 540 by 360. Yes? Yes. It seems like this. The only thing is here we are taking the marks. Here we have written the central angle. Okay, for the central angle to be 360, the marks obtained is 540. So, for 1 degree central angle, the marks obtained will be 540 by 360. Okay, now for 20 degree central angle, because we know the 20 degree difference. So, for 20 degree central angle, the marks obtained will be what? 20 degree central angle. The marks obtained will be 540 by 360 into 20. Yes, 540 by 360 will be what? 3 by 2. 3 by 2 into 20. We'll do it clearly on another page. We don't have much space here. I'm taking another I'm, page, is it? I'm 30. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm taking another page. Okay. So that it's clear to you. From the before page, could you show us? Uh, I'll show you. Just a second. Now we know for mathematics, for maths, the central angle was given to be 90 degrees. For Hindi, the central angle was 70 degrees. So if we take the difference, this shows the difference between the two words, 20 degrees. Okay, now I'm saying, again, we are doing with the unitary method. Now for the central angle, for the central angle to be, 360 degrees, the marks of pain should be for 540, should be 540. You understood this part? For the central angle to be 360, the marks of pain should be 540. Okay, the next is, this is one thing. Now for the central angle to be one degree. This is unitary method I'm taking. The marks of pain. The marks of pain should be three five forty by three sixty. Is it? For the central angle to be 1 degree, the marks of pain should be 540 by 360. Are you understanding this? 
which is equal to zeros cancel, this becomes three by two. Okay, so the, the, this is the mark three by two. Now for the central angle to be for the central angle to be twenty degrees. The mass of the is B three by two into twenty. Yes, yes children. Yes, sir. So when you take it to simple form, this becomes thirty. So that is thirty marks. So that means in maths, how many more marks the child has obtained? 30 more marks than Hindi. In Hindi, it was 105. So in maths, it is now 105 plus 30, which is equal to 135 marks. You get it? Did you understand this? Yes, ma'am. I hope it's clear to all. First, I'm taking the other way for and now this time I'm taking for angle to be 360, the marks of range should be 540. Okay. So for one degree, it should be 540 by 360. Right? For 20 degrees, the marks should be 540 by 360 into 20. Like this. Okay. 550 by 540 by 360 is nothing but 3 by 2. You understood this? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Have all understood? Have all understood this part? Or you want yes, to again? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, what happened? Once again. What happened? What happened? Once again. You want to see this or should I see this? No, you can see once again. Okay. Now see for maths, it's 90 degree. For Hindi, it is 70 degree. With the pie chart, you can see. Can I show you the figure question again? No, ma'am, I have the question. Okay. So you can see their maths is given 90 degrees. Hindi is 70 degrees. So the difference between them is 20 degrees. For the central angle to be 360, the marks obtained should be 540. Okay. For the central angle to be 360, the marks should be total 3, 540 marks. Yes or no, Lasya? Do you agree to that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. For the central angle to be 1 degree, why I am taking 1 degree means I am using the unitary method. Okay, I'm using the unitary method to solve this question. So that's why I'm taking for one degree. For the central angle to be one degree, the marks obtained should be 540 by 360. You get it? Yes, ma'am. So when you reduce it, you will get three by two. Now for the central angle to be 20 degrees, the marks obtained should be three by two, this fraction into 20. Okay. So yes. when you reduce it, you will get 30 marks. Okay. Yes. Because we are finding marks here. So you will get 30 marks. That means the child has got 30 more marks in maths than Hindi. In Hindi, the marks were 105. So in maths, the marks are 105 plus 30, which is equal to 135 marks. Okay. Understood now? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now see. Yes, ma'am, understood. Ma'am, we will show the first one. Which uh, first one I've shown you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Okay, let's see what is given in the third part of this question. Gagana, read the third part. Yeah, okay, ma'am. 
Examine whether the sum of the marks obtained in social science and mathematics is more than that in science and Hindi. So, what do you mean by this question? What what have you understood, Gagana? Ma'am, like we need to add the social science and mathematics and see whether it is more than the sum of Hindi and science marks. Very good. Okay, so you will see the marks of social science and mathematics and you will check whether they are more than science and Hindi. So that means social science and maths taken together and one side you have science and Hindi taken together. So here in this case, we need not find the marks more than. Okay, why we need not find the marks? Because this is very well clear from the chart itself. This is the circle chart. It's very well clear from home. See, social sciences. Okay, I'm writing here. Social science plus maths. Okay. So, social science is how many degrees? 65 degrees. Okay, maths is how many? 90 degrees. So, 65 plus 90 is how much? 155 degrees. Okay. So next is science plus Hindu. Is it? So science is how many degrees? 80 degrees. Hindi is how many degrees? 70 degrees. Okay. We are just asked to find this is 150 degrees. So we are just asked to find the sum of the marks obtained in these two subjects is more than these two subjects. We just have to examine. So the hint is also written, just study the central angles. So we have also just studied the central angles. Okay. So our central angle tells us that marks obtained in social science and maths together is 155, which is greater than 150. Okay. Yes, children? Yes, ma'am. Everybody understood this? Yes, ma'am. So here in this question part, we didn't have much, nothing, uh, anything much to do. Okay. We didn't have to like, uh, simplify all, mom. Like we need to study all and we need to simplify. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yes. Yes. Ma'am, they said that uh, we should find uh, some uh, marks, right, ma'am, not the angles, right? Uh, some of the marks. So with this, we can find out the marks also. Okay. I'm like uh, the okay. first two. We are getting one second last year. We are getting the idea of the marks. If we are getting central angle larger, that means the marks obtained in these two subjects together is greater. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Okay, you understand the, that no? You okay, have a larger central angle. That means the marks obtained in these two subjects together is greater than the other two subjects. Okay, beta. Understood. Okay. okay. Have all understood? Anyone still has a doubt? Ma'am? Yes. Ma'am, like in the first one of this question, of this question, the first uh, question we got like 70 degrees, right, ma'am? So ma as they asked, it is uh, out of 540 marks, it is ma 70. 70 degrees. That's the central angle. That is not mass. That's 70 degrees. Mom, so what are the marks obtained? Means how many? We See, write? the first part is saying in which subject did the student score 105 marks? This is given in the question. Yes. I have not taken from my side. This is asked in the question that in which subject the child got 105 marks. So ultimately, when we did all this, we found that it is 70 degrees. And where is 70 degrees? That showed me that subject is Hindu. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Everything clear, children, in this question? Yes, ma'am. Anyone still has doubts here? No, ma'am. Lasya, Charan Page, Gagana, Varshit. Oh, my doubts are clarified. Reshta, Reshta no, has gone. No doubts. Reshta has gone. There were two more children who have gone. Okay, now see here. 
see the next question in this. The number of students in a hostel speaking different languages is, is given below. Okay. In a hostel, children speak different, different languages. Display the data in a pie chart. You have to display this data in the form of pie chart. Okay. So, Hindi is spoken by how many number of children? Uh, the students 14, English is 12, Marathi is 9, Tamil is 7, Bengali is 4. Total are 72. That means the total 72 children will make 360 degrees angle. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's make a pie chart for this. So we have to first find the fractions and the central angle, then we need the pie chart. Shall we do it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm coming to another page. Okay, let's take the data. I'll write the data here for you. This is question number eight. Now the language is spoken and we have number of students, right? Yes, ma'am. Hindi, English. Okay, so this is Hindi, English, Marathi, then we have Tamil, then we have Bengali. And then you have the last total. So you are given five languages. Okay, the total is 20. So Hindi is spoken by 40 students. English is spoken by 12. Marathi is done by 9. Tamil by 7. Bengali by 4. So the total given is 72. Okay, let's make a five, uh, tabular form for this first. Okay, let's write down here the languages first. Then we have number of students. Then we have to find the fraction of this. Then we have to find the central angle of this. Right? These are the things we need to find out. Okay, so that's yes, Those who know, they can start doing. Don't wait for me. Those who know how to do, they can start doing. Okay, so this is 14, 12, 9, 7, 4. So let's find the fraction first. So whenever you are finding the fraction, you always need to have the total. So total is 72. So the fraction, the first fraction is 40 by 72. Yes, out of total 72 people, 40 can speak Hindi. So that's 40 by 72. Okay. If you want to, we will be multiplying by 360 here. So let's reduce it to uh, simple form. So if I reduce it to simple form, what will it be? What will it be? 5 by 9. Please find the fractions here, children. Please find the fractions here, sir. Ma'am, 72 can be divided by 360, ma'am. Ma'am, 72 fives are 
मैम आई फोन द सेंट्रल लैंग्वेज में यस बेटा सो मैम 72 सो 360 ओके टेल मी व्हाट आर द फ्रैक्शंस यू हैव गॉट क्विकली टेल मी व्हाट आर दीस फ्रैक्शंस कैन आई फॉर इंग्लिश द सिंपलेस्ट फॉर्म मैम फॉर इंग्लिश इट इज 6/30 हां Tell me what are the central angles? For what are the fractions? Tell me the reduced form. No, I have to ask you. Ask you. I have to give you. Mom, I got. Um, Mom, for the second one, I got one by six. So all we have to multiply by three sixty. Okay, so this is one by six into three sixty. Okay, this is one by eight into three sixty. This is seven by seventy-two into three sixty. This is four by seventy-two into three sixty. Okay, right? Okay, now tell me what is the central angle quickly? Ma'am, first one Ma is two hundred degrees. Ma'am, first one is two hundred. Ma'am, for double it is something one by twenty. One by one sixty. What is the next one? उट Yes, Lassia. Hello. Yes, you were saying something. It's possible to repeat that. You want me to repeat this? Hello. Of the subject is nothing. Okay, listen here. See the fractions here. When we have fraction Hindi. Baba, take that. Please listen first. You have the total number of children that is seventy-two. Out of which forty could speak Hindi. So the fraction that can speak Hindi is forty by seventy-two. Okay. Fraction of people that can speak English are twelve by seventy-two. Are you understanding? How do you take the fraction? You have studied in your junior classes. If you have this shape. And you are given one shape is shaded. So what is the fraction here, Lassia? What is the fraction for this? If I tell you to write it in a fraction form, how will you write? Out of the four equal parts, if one is shaded, how will you write it in a fraction form? Huh? Lassia, tell me. Ah, cut it. Huh? I am saying if this shape is divided into four equal parts and I shade one part of it, then how will you write the fraction of this? How will you write it in a fraction form? By four. Huh? Same. One by four. Okay, one by four. No. So same thing is here. This is these are the total number of students. And these are those students who can only speak Hindi. So the fraction will be what? Fraction will be what? The part upon the total. Okay. Yes. So this was you know the part upon the total. Okay. Total boxes were four, and the part was one part that was shaded. So fraction is given by part upon the. Total, you get it. Similarly, this is please understand how I am writing the fractions. So similarly, out of all the seventy-two students, twelve children could speak English. So fraction will be twelve by seventy-two because twelve is a part and seventy-two is the total number of children. All right. Okay. And when I reduce it, it becomes one by six. Now again for Marathi, 
the whole is some total parts are 70 the total students are 72 the ones who could speak marathi are 9 so the fraction will be 9 by 72 okay and when you reduce it to lower form it becomes 1 by 2 next tamil speaking people are 7 and the total number of children are 72 the fraction is 7 by 72 so this cannot be reduced to a lower form so this itself is a lower form Bengali is spoken by four children. So, four out of seven, four by 72 is the fraction. Okay. And now to find the central angle, we multiply by 360. So, whatever fraction we have got, we will multiply by 360. And when we reduce it, we get these numbers. Okay. Yes, last year. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Pranav Shiva, are you understanding? Pranav Shiva is there. Okay. Now see, we have to show this data in a pie circle graph. Okay. Now how we will show? We are given the central angles now. 260, 45, 35 and 20. So, we know that the straight angle is 180 degrees. If I make a circle of any radius and I take a diameter of this, okay, diameter passes from the center. That means this angle is 180 degrees. <coughs> yes. Okay. Yes, and if you take 20 more degrees on it, if you just erase this part, yes, okay, if you just erase this part, okay, and you take 20 degree more on 180 degrees. So you will get 200 degrees. You will get this 200 degrees. 180 plus 20 will be 200 degrees, no? Yes, ma'am. Using your protector. Okay. So this is 20 degrees, 200 degrees. Now if you have to take another 60 degrees, how will you take 60 degrees? Just keep your protector here. The center point should coincide. Keep it straight like this. Your protector should be lying here. Okay. So this is 20 degrees from this baseline. Okay. Then take more 60 degrees. That means 20 plus 60 will be 80 degrees. Are you getting? This is 20. From here to here, you mark this as 20 degrees. No. So this became 1 to 100. Now again, from here, 20 plus 60 will be 80 degrees now. So, at 80 degrees point, you just mark another line here. So, this will be 60 degrees. Okay? Are you understanding? Yes, Are you understanding, children? Okay, from this baseline, from point A, you take 80 degrees here. Why 80 degree? Because we want 60 degree and 20 is already there. Okay? So, 20 plus 60 will be 80. So, just mark a point wherever you have 80 degrees. Right? It must be somewhere here, like right? not here. So, you get 60 degree angle also. Okay. Then your next angle is 45 degrees. Right? Keep your protector here only as it is. Okay. Now, start counting from this side. Okay. So, just take what do you have, which angle you want now. 45 degree and 35 degrees. Okay. So just mark with your, from here. if you have 0 degrees here, you mark from here 45 degrees. So 45 degrees will be somewhere here. Okay. Just mark with your protector 45 degrees. And then you have another 35 degrees. Right. Are you understanding? So for that, you keep your protector here. Keep your protector here in line with this line now. This B. From O to B. Okay. Just keep your protector on this line and measure 35 degrees. So 35 degree wherever you get like this. Okay. So this will be, I am just doing the estimate. Okay. 35 degree will be somewhere here. So whatever you are left will be the rest of 20 degrees. Are you understanding? Have you understood this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Everyone? Yes, ma'am.
So this is how you make this pipeline. So the data given to us was this, that so many people could speak these, these languages, total were given. So we found the fraction of those children first, then we found the central angle, and then we plotted the central as well on this pie chart. Right? Yes, children? Mom. Yes. Yes, beta. Mom, I have, I like, I'm getting everything, mom. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, when I'm coming, um, when I'm coming near the pie chart, mom. When I'm taking the degrees that I'm drawing, I even drew here also, mom. Before when I was solving questions, I'm doing. Uh -huh. But I don't know, mom, where I'm, where the fault I'm getting, mom. But the maybe not. Uh, maybe you are not holding the protector properly. Like uh, I'm getting all the degrees, mom. Drawing the lines, all the degrees mm -hmm. I'm getting, but the down. The down of the circle where you draw two hundred, right, mom? There, I the the place down. It is uh, leaving, mom. Like something wrong. I'm doing, mom. Yeah. Have you made the radius? When you make a complete diameter, okay. I'm I have made this line a dotted line because I don't want this line. This is just to show you that this straight line makes one hundred eighty degree angles. Okay, everyone from yes, this. The class time has exceeded, beta. I think so. What is the uh, Mom, when we are, uh, when we, uh, like, from the starting, mom, the starting one, I can even, the uh, longer, but, like, suppose. Yeah, we will discuss it afterwards, okay? The class time is over. The class, next class is getting late now. Okay. Okay, children, please practice this. Bye, ma'am. Bye, Thank you, Vita.